Fever is a very common problem uh, that encountered in our primary care as well as uh, children emergency. Despite being so common, uh, it still remains a diagnostically challenge to differentiate whether this fever is due to a virus infection or a bacterial infection. Fever often uh, perceived as a sign that requires urgent medical attention. Uh, however, in fact, uh, the vast majority of the children uh, would have a very mild or uh, self-limiting illnesses that required only uh, monitoring at home uh, as well as uh, symptomatic treatment. Uh, the exception to this uh, would be the age group uh, less than three months old because this is the age group that would be at high risk of acquired uh, more severe serious bacterial infection. So the suspicion of fever often start with the parents' perceptions whether the child is feeling hot or warm. The more objective way uh, to confirm the fever uh, is by using a thermometer. The normal body temperature range between 36.1 to 37.8 degrees Celsius. So in general, fever is defined by a temperature more than 38 degrees Celsius. In young children, the body temperature can be higher than the adult. The temperature can also vary throughout the day for various reasons. So there are two methods that you can use uh, to measure the temperature. One is via the uh, infrared uh, tympanic thermometer or what we know as an ear thermometer. The other one is the electronic uh, axilla thermometer used uh, to measure the temperature under the armpit. There are many causes of uh, fever. The most common one would be a virus infection, uh, such as a flu virus or influenza virus. The other uh, common cause of the fever would be a bacterial infection, such as urinary tract infection, uh, scarlet fever, or a streptococcus throat infection. Sometimes uh, medication can also cause fever, and rarely inflammatory condition uh, can also cause fever in children. Fever in itself is really harmful, uh, but definitely it can cause the children to feel more uh, uncomfortable. Uh, the young children uh, may have uh, symptoms such as fussiness, uh, drowsiness, uh, irritability uh, because of the fever. The older children uh, may experience symptoms such as uh, poor feeding, headache, uh, muscle aches. Instead of focusing on the temperature on the thermometer, the parents should actively look out for any signs of uh, serious infection. This would include any signs of uh, persistent vomiting, any signs of uh, breathlessness, any signs of uh, lethargy, drowsiness, or uh, they have any uh, signs of fits. And you also should pay attention to the very young uh, infants, especially those that are less than three months old. So this can be divided into non-medication measures or medication. So the non-medication measures include that of uh, by keeping your child well hydrated and get sufficient rest at home. You should also uh, keep your room cool and well ventilated and you also should dress your child in a light clothing and do not cover them with a thick blanket. So there are a few medications that you can give to your child to control the fever. Most of this medication is uh, based on weight, so please check with your pharmacist or your doctor to find out the exact dose that you need to be given to your child. For example, uh, for paracetamol, which is the first-line uh, medication for fever, this can be used uh, every uh, four to six hourly. So if the temperature more than 38.5, uh, you can give it every four hourly. But if the temperature is less than 38.5, uh, then you can give paracetamol every six hourly. The second medication that you can give is uh, ibuprofen. Uh, this is a second line medication for fever control. And usually we reserve this medication for uh, high temperature. If the fever if it's more than 38.5, uh, you can give these medications every six hours. And do not use this uh, medicine uh, in infants uh, less than six months old. The next medication is uh, diclofenac, uh, or what we know as a Voltaren uh, suppository. Uh, this is a second line medication that you can also use to control the temperature. This medication can be given every 12 hours. Uh, 
uh, and is given uh, one to two hours uh, after the paracetamol. Please do not give this medication to the young infant less than one year old unless advised by your doctor. There are two points to note because uh, ibuprofen and diclofenac they are belong to the same class of medication, so you should not give these two medication together. If your child is vomiting or has bleeding disorder, you also should not give these two medications. So the average duration of the fever can range from 3 to 5 days, but sometimes uh, the fever can last as long as 10 days or more than a week. Uh, however, the duration of the fever and the peak of the temperature is not the specific indicator of uh, serious uh, illnesses. If the fever is, is more than uh, uh, 5 days or more, uh, then you should bring your child to see a doctor immediately for further assessment uh, to rule out a serious bacterial infection.